Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today I'm going to teach you a technique that I've been doing just now on how to take a water bottle for small animals like this and make your own wire harness. And it'll end up looking just like this. Stay with us. So here's the deal. Here's what we're going to do. You can buy a water bottle like this for like $7 at Petco or PetSmart or Pet Supplies Plus or wherever. And it comes with just a little little wire to attach to the side of a cage, like a wire cage. And then you stick this in the bottom of the cage through the bars and it hangs on the outside. But what if your animal is in a plastic, um, like, a, like a habit trail or a glass aquarium? Well, they sell metal hangers that go from the bottom, kind of like where the cardboard goes to the bottom and then along the back. But those cost like another five bucks. So this will save you a little bit of money. All you need is a multi-tool um, or wire clippers and pliers and um, some picture hanging wire. I had this hanging around whenever I buy uh, rolls of metal mesh for my animals to make cages. This wire attaches it together so I always save it and I have this for projects. I'm going to get about two feet of it. I'm going to find the center point on that wire right here. I'm going to wrap it around the part of the bottle nice and tight. Make sure it's not on the cap, underneath the cap. And then I'm going to twist it on nice and tight. I'm going to give it two twists. So now that's attached. Now, on the back of where the water comes out on the back side, going to run these wires up the back and I'm going to position this ring about an inch and a half from the top. One wire goes through the hole. I'm going to wrap it around back through the hole like so. Let me see what I did. And then this wire goes around this one. Same exact deal. Make sure you keep that the thicker wire holder in the right spot. Now, they're both through, so that's what we're looking like right now. All right. Now, I'm going to tighten this all together. I'm going to grab the two wires that just ran through it, pull them tight. It cinches it all together. Now I'm going to wrap them around each other, probably two or three times, so it's all nice and tight. Then I'm going to continue to wind them around each other all the way to the end of that wire. And then I've noticed with the tanks it'll hang perfectly underneath the mesh lid of the tank if you go about a third of an inch underneath the top of it, fold it over, and then about three quarter inch fold it over again. And that will hold on to the lid of your aquarium perfectly. This is going to go in a 10 gallon aquarium for a mouse. So here's a 10 gallon aquarium. If you've done your work correctly, it'll hang just like that. It's pretty much flush with the top there. Once the, the screen's on there, it'll push it down a little bit. And about two inches up from the bottom to leave enough space for the bedding on the bottom, but you don't want to touch the bedding. And there you go, you save yourself five bucks by just using a couple minutes of your time. Stuff you have laying around. 